In this video, I'm going to pretend to be a bronze player and hire a top 100 grandmaster to coach me. But actually, there's a huge catch, and it's that I will do the opposite of everything he tells me to do. Now, if he can discover me, I will not only tip him incredibly well, but he proves that he is a coaching god, and I will give away some of his coaching to y'all for free. Now, step one, in order to not get found out, I need to pretend to be someone else entirely. Bronze account with very few hours played, check. Fake Fiverr account with an inconspicuous name? Check. Also, a fake Discord to be super incognito? Check. Step two, buy and equip the best Genji skin and the best crosshair. These are not up for debate. Step three, I have to find my target. Enter Kajan, a top 100 tank player and a Grandmaster Plus on all roles. He has really good reviews on him and he probably has no idea who I am. So I'm gonna message him back and forth and ultimately book my session. Step four, had to fill in all my details, including the fact that I deserve plat when I'm only bronze. Now warning, in this video, I play three games and create unfairness in the rank system. If you can message me and prove I was in your games on these three maps, I will give you free coaching as a consolation. Now with all that done, we have everything that we need to start. And going into these games, I decide to play Genji. He's my best hero and the one I feel like I could control myself the most on. Also, I decided even though it's unlikely I would be recognized, I would talk differently than I normally do by talking much quieter and more timid and I would talk in short bursts just in case hello hey how you doing hey i'm doing good how about you now my plan was to play three different games game one where you literally try to actively do the opposite of what he wants me to do game two where i start doing what he says and playing slightly better and then game three where i go full force reveal myself and pop the hell off that being said before i execute i needed to first meet kaja he started off asking me questions about my history and weaknesses and of course i had to make all this up on the spot and note how i talk very lightly i'm not trying to give away anything i assume you play mainly genji do you, do you play any other heroes as well or are you just gonna be playing genji uh probably only genji and after not too long we hop into game one on shambali Starting off in the first game, I need to try to act exactly how a bronze Genji would act. I wanted to match the skill level of the lobby if possible, where I neither throw or carry. Now getting right into it, the first thing he notices is my crosshair, and it's pretty freaking funny. Try and like pick your pick your spots, get to the back line right, uh, make as much mayhem as you can. Oh my gosh, that's a big crosshair. Is it? Let's make it way bigger. Let's make it way thicker and much bigger gap. Holy, that is a really big crosshair, yeah. That thing's like covering up like a good portion of your your center there. I actually just made it smaller. <laughs> You're kidding me. That's that's a very large crosshair. Um, it's okay. It, it doesn't matter too, too much, to be honest. After somehow winning the first fight, I get my first set of instructions. One, stop having a stiff slash stagnant crosshair and actually move my freaking mouse. And two, be aggressive. Now, this is some great advice that I should actually take, but am I? Absolutely not. We're going to do the exact opposite. So, let's do that. It is bronze, so you, it's not very intense. Uh, so, I'll, I'll kind of speak a little bit more while we're playing. But get comfortable using your movement and moving your mouse around. You're very, like, your aim is very very stagnant like and be aggressive like attack people right okay, be aggressive Now, after a while, he finally gives me my next instruction. Double jump more, you're staying on the floor way too much. So, of course, the only logical thing to do from here is to start crab walking. You can use your double jump to your advantage. You're staying on the floor way too much. Now, honestly, I was asking questions to try to play the part, but I almost just lost right here because I literally couldn't control my laughter and I had to just freaking hold my mouth shut. Yeah, don't stay crouched on the floor as well. Um, you're... Bad. Yeah, uh, it's not terrible. I mean, you can... You, but you can't just, like, sit there crouching. It's you, you move slower, so it's going to be easier for people to hit you. Now we enter my first blade. And earlier, he asked me what my weaknesses were, and I told him specifically that I couldn't blade well. So I knew I needed to blade poorly to further sell the plot. Granted, I actually got nanoed and the blade went okay, but, yeah, I didn't do anything flashy intentionally here. And... There's a bob here, so we kind of need to get out. That's fine, we're shooting high. Another thing that I started doing is taking everything he said super literal instead of what he actually meant, and it led to some freaking hilarious moments. All right, and then just walk in and play close, and then use your blade when they walk through, okay? And try and go on the back line. 
Um, yeah. Oh, maybe not like that. Bash is alone. I think I can kill you. Now at this point, I want to point out just how damn good of a coach Kajan was. Understanding and encouraging when I pretended to have self-doubt. He's honestly a really good coach. 10 out of freaking 10. Now here, he's going to tell me to not sit on card. I need to just be doing other things, right? So of course, we're not going to sit on card. We're going to jump instead. Like, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mixing your movement up. Like, not just not staying close to the ground so much, right? Uh, not too much. You, you can play on the ground, but not like insane. Okay, and just go on the ash, right? Dash into the ash. There, you, <laughs> you dodged the shatter. <laughs> Careful, Bob. Don't walk in the Bob. Don't walk in the Bob. Just, oh, we'll play around the corner or something. Okay, all good. Now we flip over to defense. And after a bit more trolling, I want to make sure that I don't throw. So I start increasing the skill level slightly. Not too much, but honestly, even with upping my skill, we're still losing. And on top of this, I have a major problem. A normal cycle of coaching is a live game followed by a replay session, which he suggests. And if I play too bad, he will 100% want a replay session, which with only an hour of his time, I just don't have time for if I want to fit in the three games. So I need to turn it up at least a little bit now it always gonna lead to this part i was going to chug some caffeine and slightly pop off and this turns out to be my gravest freaking error now honestly i think my genji instincts kicked in a little too hard because i sold or nearly sold i'm playing a little off let me um let me take a sip of some caffeine for a second um... <laughs> okay Is this like good to spam like this? Yeah, spamming's okay. Uh, uh, especially with the Sigma, right? We're not we're not really gonna be able to go in super deep. So we gotta pick now in the mortar, so I would say we go aggressive a little bit if we can. For one HP though, so. Alright, so kill the echo. Just staying alive here is the most important thing. Killing the Genji, that's nice. Am I being put in the YouTube video? Is, is that what's going on here? Hmm? <laughs> you just you just said the I'm gonna take a sip of the caffeine thing and you kinda change your playstyle and you like kinda you you know what you're doing a little bit more now. I don't know, I don't know if I just feel a little better, to be honest. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh well let's see with the blade then. Uh let's hit tab for a sec. Oh, echoes on us. Uh Dash out if you can. More no fade. You should go in the more. Nice. Nice soup. Just staying alive once again. We don't really need to get kills at this point. They're more down there more. Just staying alive and touching point is most important. With your deflect. Echoes one. Nice. Genji's one, you can just dash him. Oof. Uh, we see nine, it's okay. Now in hindsight, I think I played too much like a bot early to fully sell that play. And for the rest of the game, I try and pull it back so that I wouldn't completely sell. But he was definitely figuring me out, so I had to get a little bit tricky. I was planning to play slightly better next game, but laying low and just chop up that to just me feeling really tired at the start of the game. And I'm actually a better player. I successfully convinced him to get me a game too, and in between matches, he gives me a ton of great advice to fix my engagements, focus better, and ran me through some mechanical training as well. Even with his suspicions of me, he remained professional and still coached me amazingly. Now in game two, there's not a lot to talk about. I plan to just play slightly better in this game, but I had a huge problem. My teammates just deadlifted me completely. I raised my skill probably to maybe like a plat or silver level, but even still, my team did far more than me. My tank ended up going zero deaths, my DPS had more kills than me, my supports only had one death each, I mean it was a goddamn bloodbath where I did nothing but exist and dash a few things. I wanted to show off a bit more to give clues, but if I wanted to outperform my team, it would have been way too obvious here. I decided that in the next game, I would show him almost everything I had, because I think he was on my trail anyways. 
Now going into game three, the funny thing is that we actually start off on Koth, and I really fully intended to try hard, but somehow I still died to random junk spam twice. Goes to show that no matter how good you are, you can still die to random nonsense in Overwatch, even all the way down in Bronze. After dying a few times with some random stuff, I decide it's time to reveal myself a little bit right here. Nice. Nice. Good job. Very good job. Solid. That was solid. That was a good blade. Very good blade. I like how you found the Mercy, right? We stuck on the Mercy, we followed her through, like our mechanics hit that time, and then we popped the blade and we win the fight, and it was perfect. Now going into the next map, I felt like he already knew, but he was just playing along, so I decided to just fully reveal myself and go all out. You know, performance probably happens once in a while, so that can definitely hinder you. So being more consistent is definitely a good way to look at it. Nice, good dashes. You know, sometimes a I don't know, let you finish this fight. <laughs> You're rolling. Nice. You're probably gonna die here. I think it was 5k. Was it? I think so. I think so, because one of them got rezzed. Well, that's a 5k for sure. Nice job. So, I think... so yeah, I mean, I have a confession. You were right. 100%. I know. Yeah, I could tell you, you do. <laughs> God damn it. Ah, I gave it away too much. Okay, so. Shh. Do you have any idea who I am? Or not? Probably not. <sighs> You know what? Your voice sounds so, somewhat so, familiar. So Tell me who you are. I've been I've been talking normal, different than I normally do. My my name's Mills. I'm an Overwatch coach and a YouTuber. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm a top 500 Grandmaster Genji player. I'm just like, uh, yeah. Thought so. Thought so. so. Okay. I was like, I was like, no, okay. I, there's 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 inconsistencies, no, but it's no. like he goes from like bronze to <laughs> like pretty high rank here. This so, doesn't seem normal. So just so you know, the title of the video is uh, I hired an Overwatch coach and did the opposite of what he said. So in the beginning, when you were telling me to like close in, yeah. I was like intentionally backing up. And when you said That's jump, why. I was like crouching. Yeah, I'm sorry. The crouch walk, the crouch walk completely. <laughs> I was like, I've never no. seen anyone do and this. Then, There's no said, way. Don't stand on court. And I start jumping on court. I'm just like, no, I, I feel you kind started, of I feel kind of No, bad. no, no. It, it's <laughs> funny. No, you, you, you made my day. That, that was okay, funny, to be honest. Sorry. You know, you know what? Genji God 1738 should have should have <laughs> rang a few more bells than I, I it actually did. Oh, now that I think about it, Genji God 1738. I had to make hmm. a second Fiverr. I had to make a second Discord. I was just like, <laughs> yeah, but uh, well, yeah, that, that, this was this was fun. I, but I I still feel a little guilty. I'm sorry about. <laughs> yeah. No, so yeah. Anyway, no. When I when I when I said when I I turned it on a little bit when I. Uh, drink some caffeine and you you noticed it right away and i was like fuck i went too far when, when you said when you said i'm gonna drink some caffeine for a second i'm like this guy's gonna pop off right yeah, now yeah, yeah i mean because yeah, there's like a thing on stream where i'm like i'm like addicted to caffeine so i always tell people like hey I, uh, I drink a lot of caffeine. oh like, I'm, so anyways, but yeah man it was it was really fun thanks for being a good no support. yeah no thank you this was funny this was hilarious actually it made my day no no lies okay okay yeah. you um, you have a good one yeah okay. you as well catch you later man